Brewing disobedience. Alexander Konovalov's cafe stayed open during lockdown in St. Petersburg, despite government directives to close. So did his beauty salons, the largest network in the city. Once loyal to President Putin, the businessman has lost his faith. He says coronavirus measures were inconsistent, illogical and unfair, and this vote to change the constitution is the last straw. I was not just loyal to him. Like so many Russians, for me he was almost an idol. My attitude to the president began to change even before the coronavirus, when they began to introduce these amendments with the reset of his terms. My friends and I have one question. Why did he lie that he wouldn't do this? For many years he said that he would not change the constitution in order to remain in power, and this is exactly what he is doing. Russians have spent the last week voting on a package of constitutional amendments. The headlines are new benefits, but buried in the text is permission for President Putin to rule until 2036 if he continues to win the votes. There are many things that I like about these amendments. To protect our territory, to support and restore our culture, children education, social support, animals. I'm happy with the entire package. On Wednesday, Putin made an unprecedented plea. We are not just voting for amendments that are laid out in clear legal norms. We vote for the country we want to live in, with modern education and health care, with reliable social protection of citizens, with an effective government that is accountable to society. We vote for the country we work for, and we want to pass it on to our children. The new rules created for this vote are also unprecedented. Exit polls were announced midway and polling stations popped up everywhere, from fields to car parks, making it impossible to ensure the vote is fair or free from tampering. Exposing the flaws in the system, a number of journalists deliberately voted twice and there have been numerous reports of coercion and vote buying. Putin's approval ratings are at 59%, an all-time low. But analysts say the true figure could be even lower. When we see a drop in support from 79 to 59 percent in authoritarian countries, it means that support in society is actually much lower, because the numbers are distorted. We see Putin's charisma is eroding, ratings are declining, but this is not yet accompanied by protests. So support is weak, but there are not so many reasons for the population to rebel. And yet, they predict amendments will pass, granting Putin the opportunity to rule Russia until he's 83 years old. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera.